talk to us about holding a grudge, they say. Who says that? Who's that bothered about holding a grudge? Well, evidently it's an issue. So here I am talking about it. Are you holding a grudge? Ugh, me and my grudge. Ugh. Well, in a way, it's a resentment, isn't it? And resentment actually is quite a serious thing. And I think that most people that are uh, suffering from more obvious and easily diagnosed problems like addiction in some form, you will find are undergirdling their condition with a matrix of resentments. Oh, if you'd have my childhood or if you lived in my society, I'm talking about myself personally, in fact, that with all my mental health and addiction problems, I mostly pointed the finger at external things and, uh, and historic things, personal historic. I won't like blaming the Battle of Hastings, you know, things that had happened to me as being the cause of it. If you've got a grudge against someone, I've got loads of people in my past where I feel like it didn't end the way I wanted it to. Friendships, relationships, business relationships. But you can't hold a grudge. You have to recognise that we are in a world with people who have instincts like we do. Their instincts take them this way, your instincts take you this way, your instincts cause you to come into collision. My programme, the programme that I was freely given, is that we make amends where appropriate to anyone we believe that we have harmed or wronged and when someone has wronged us we forgive them our job is to forgive them and this program works for me sometimes you have to re-forgive people sometimes you go i forgive you for the way you treated me in the past you don't have to say it to them even you just forgive them within yourself you know and you look to see if there's anything you've done against that person say you've got a grudge against someone you used to be in a relationship with you think well what taking putting aside what i feel they did to me is there anything i did to them you know well yeah you were a bit selfish you uh you know you were negligent or whatever it is if you are willing to make amends for what you did sometimes that can be face to face sometimes it can't be then you will find perhaps you move forward in your ability to forgive because holding a grudge against someone look at this time of grudges this time of political polarity everywhere where's it going to end in either sense, in either outcome, more referendums, less referendum, Democrat president, Republican president, all the people are still there. Unless there is some massive conversion experience of all humanity, we're still going to have this kind of polarity. Unless we find different ways of organising ourselves, unless we allow the new systems to grow among the old, unless we nurture new ideas, unless we find new ways of communicating and being, this way is going to be harmful for us. On a personal level, we can't hold grudges. On a social level, we can't hold grudges. Morality and spirituality, I increasingly think, and I'm aware of the irony that I'm saying this to you, is something that is for yourself, not something for you to project onto other people. Say you really disagree with something, well then don't do that thing, but don't <laughs> try and get other people to not do it. If you're like, well I disagree with gay marriage, don't get gay married then. Like, don't, don't try to beam it at others. Practice a personal spiritual code. In my book, Recovery, I, I talk about the 12 step one. There are loads of versions of it. Peer Melody, me Melody, Peer Melody, yeah, she's written about it. Patrick Kearns and lots of 12 step fellowships have literature that show you how to work those programs. They'll help you with holding a grudge. These programs and methods will help you to move beyond the trivial petty things that you think are your problem because those are not really your problems. Hello, I'm doing these new videos more frequently now. Please hit the notification button at the end of this video because then you'll get a, like a little bell when the, I post a new video and I'd like you to get a little bell when I post a video. Then I can, I don't know, be buzzing away in your pocket. Sounds like I'd be like a little pocket mosquito. Anyway, subscribe. Click the bell because I want more people to watch the YouTube videos. You, specifically.